this is our last slide in the 80s unit um, on entertainment. Um, and we will start with cable TV. Uh, cable TV develops in the early part of the decade, uh, the early 80s, and it was a risk when it showed up because before cable TV comes along, once you've bought your TV, you get TV for free. Um, there had to be something to convince people to pay for something that they could already get for free. Uh, and cable TV comes up with that. It's 24-hour programming. 24-hour um, TV. Uh, now, to understand why that's such a big deal, you got to understand what it was like before that. And to understand what it was like before that, you're going to have to ask me to tell you a story in class. Um, to tell you about cable TV, uh, or before cable TV. In my opinion, and I think a lot of people um, would agree, there's really two channels that are responsible for the early success of cable TV. One of them is MTV, music television. Okay. Um, I am convinced that the reason most parents agreed to purchase cable TV and pay for TV was to simply shut their kids up. I know that was the case with my parents. Uh, my sister and I complained endlessly. We want cable TV. We want cable TV. We want MTV, blah, 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 over and over and over. I am convinced to this day. The main reason they got cable TV was to shut us up. Um, teenagers screaming, I want my MTV, over and over and over again. Um, allowed, or really didn't allow, it gave parents a reason to get TV, uh, cable TV. Now, the other channel that's responsible for it is CNN. And CNN was owned by uh, a man named Ted Turner. Uh, that's the same Ted Turner who owned for a long, long time uh, the Atlanta Braves. Uh, that's why they played at Turner Field. Um, he also owned uh, TBS, Turner Broadcasting Systems, and he owned TNT, Turner Network Television, and he owns TCM, Turner Classic Movies. Uh, Ted Turner was one of the early pioneers of cable TV. Uh, but CNN was his stroke of genius. And this is how I convinced my parents to pay for TV. My dad was a news junkie. And I went to dad and said, Dad, you know how you, uh, you, you can only see the news at 6 and 11 o'clock at night? Yeah, yeah. I said, well, if you get, you get cable, they got a station on there, 24-hour news. You can watch news anytime you want, not when they want to show it to you. Really? Yeah. Any time of day. You can wake up at 2 in the morning and watch news if you want to. And I'm convinced to this day that's one of the reasons my parents agreed to get cable TV, uh, because of CNN and my dad's love of news. Um, but MTV and CNN, cable news network, um, the two main reasons that early cable TV succeeds. Right? Now, if MTV is going to be a big deal. It's going to have to be because of music. So let's talk about uh, the music of the decade, uh, as we always do here. Um, as we get into the 80s, we see the development of big hair bands. Right? The 80s is my time for music. I was a teenager in the 80s. Um, so big hair bands were are among the favorites. And uh, these are bands that got into you know a certain look. You, you wore leather or spandex. You teased out your hair with, uh, well, you let it grow long. Or, uh, you teased it out with lots of uh, uh, hairspray. Um, here you see a picture of uh, White Snake, one of the big hair bands, one of the better big hair bands of the decade. Um, other ones such as uh, Poison, uh, Motley Crue, Guns N' Roses, Def Leppard, um, these are all big hair bands, and as you see in the, the, the picture here, it's, it's obvious why they're called big hair bands, okay? Uh, they all have very big hair. Uh, but rock bands with a loud sound, hard-driving um, rhythms uh, and lyrics, okay? Um, but then, thanks to MTV, we get a, a, a sort of a twist on the big hair bands, and they're what are called made-for-TV bands. And the best example of a made-for-TV band is Duran Duran. 
right? These are bands that weren't necessarily great musically, but they looked good. Because MTV is going to have videos, and suddenly you have to look the part. So, yeah, Duran Duran, everybody's very pretty, you know? Uh, girls went gaga for Duran Duran. Um, they're not that great musically, but they look good. They're good enough musically to kind of hold their own, but their looks are what really sell them to MTV. Uh, and Duran Duran is the, the best sort of example of that. The 80s will also see the beginnings of rap and hip-hop music. Um, groups such as, here you see at the top, uh, that's Run DMC. Um, other rap bands, uh, Public Enemy uh, was very big. Beastie Boys were really big. Uh, so 80s, uh, the 80s would see the beginnings of rap music and hip-hop music. All right, lastly here for the decade... We need to talk about the development of mobile phones. The 1980s would see the beginnings of mobile phones. Now, these aren't cell phones yet because they don't operate on a cell, um, but mobile phones. Motorola, the company Motorola, would develop the first mobile phone. It was called the Brick. Okay? And here you see a picture of the Brick. And this is the guy that invented the Brick. That was the first mobile phone. Now, what's hard to see, you can kind of see the, right there, the very beginnings of the antenna. The antenna goes further up, probably about to there. Um, these things were huge. Okay? They came out in 1984, um, and that's a picture of the brick. It weighed two pounds. Right? Uh, people, businessmen, were really the only people who could afford them early on. Um, they would carry, around, carry them around in their briefcases. Okay. The thing weighed two pounds. Um, you could get 30 minutes of talk time per battery charge. So some of you nowadays that think your battery doesn't last long in your phone, uh, you could get 30 minutes of talk time per battery charge. That's it. And you didn't. Ha you had a, a limited amount of time you could talk. You had to pay per minute. There was no unlimited talk and text or anything like that. There is no text, period. Um, all you did was talk on it and you talk quickly. Now, for the privilege of owning one of these fine quality uh, pieces of technology here, the brick, you'd have to fork over $3,995. And by the time you pick, kicked in tax, you're looking at over $4,000 for a mobile phone. This is the price uh, of being popular. All right, that's it for our 1980s unit. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, we got one to go.